Hey everyone, today I am in Amarillo, Texas at an RV dealership, but they're also showcasing an RV museum. And you won't believe it, but I am standing inside a piece of movie history. If you've ever watched the movie RV, stay tuned, you're gonna love this one. So this is the entrance here. Motorcycle service and parts. Here we have an old Harley with a sidecar. There's other little items in there. A telephone, grease gun, toy box. Look at that 1919 Harley bicycle. And here is a military Harley Davidson. It says do not sit on it. Got a Tommy gun right there. Look at all this. We've got a little Coleman camp stove there. Lieutenant Joe Dameron. This 1941 Westcraft trailer and 1942 Harley motorcycle were both used in the defense of this country during World War II. Hey Sarah. This trailer was used in World War II. In the defense of the country is what that sign says. So this is a piece of World War II history right here. Who would have thought? I never knew. Look at that old sign up there. It says airport. I never knew that they used RVs in the military. I can actually stand up in this. So that's good. Old radio there. USS Sigourney. Pretty neat. It's a whole museum of RVs and they allow you to go in here and there are antiques in here. So they have it with the time period. Old stove here. Ohio blue tip matches. So these are legitimate antiques. That light's kind of bright. Let's see if we can go over here. It's in really good shape. Let's see if we can block that a little bit, but there's some old pictures. Old suitcases there. Some old magazines. Pretty neat how they've done this. Maybe a pea pot? Who knows? It'd be my guess on what it is. Wow. You can really feel this thing bouncing whenever you're stepping in it. This is a 1936 Alma, and it was a barn find. It says, "Man, look at the look at the woodwork on this, right on the door." Old trailer. I would love to have an old trailer like this. So we'll show you this, and I'll show you what's up above this. Look at this. It says, "Due to my age, you can look, but don't touch." can go in it. So neat to have all these antiques in here to kind of set the mood. This is a little bit tinier trailer than what we were just in. But still just as neat. Imagine traveling the country in this. Look at all the Harleys that he has. Going straight up there. And then more Harleys straight up over there and I see the front end of like a 1966 Chevelle that's gonna be my guess but up above it says oh well this looks like this trailer here this Alma trailer I have no idea what year that is you can see a little patchwork there where it's kind of bowed underneath. Wally Byam's Caravan, World Traveling Liner. And then all the places that it's been. So we can't look at that, but it's understandable because it ha does have some damage there, but it is an old one. Look at that, going across Europe, Central America, Mexico, Africa, Egypt. Wow. The places that thing's seen. And this is an early pop-up tent camper. 1937 Cozy Camp. 
Got a 1955 tag on it. One of the early pop-up tent campers there. Little fold down table there. That's really something. We'll have an old stove. Oh, that's not a Chevelle. It looks like a Chevelle front end. It's an El Camino. They do have the front end that, that's the same. A&W root beer drive-in thing. Matador in the back. It was bought new in 1967 by Jess Sizemore. And he sold it to Jim Queensberry. Oh my gosh. Some old motorcycles back into that trailer. Look at this old wood boat. Ah, love it. 1963 Chris Craft. Got a Lake Tanglewood, so they used it in 88 is what that is. Man, that thing's in good shape. Love it. Inboard motor. Mmm, all that wood. And over there, look at that. Kind of raise you guys up. You can see some life jackets, oars, and skis. Look at this thing up here. I don't see a sign for it. That's got to be a really early model right there. And you can see where the bottom is kind of coming down. All original shape like that. Makes you wonder what the inside of it smells like and looks like. You can see the bottom where it's coming down. Really cool though. That's an old one right there. Old, 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 old. In good shape though. Man. Feel free to step inside the RVs and look around. And please remember to sign our guest book. Old RC Cola Ice Chest, Camp Coleman Lantern. And then uh, 1967 bus. Think about how many people from the 60s started their camping experiences in a van just like this. Woodstock or bust, it says groovy over there. Man, oh man. Pretty cool, Mary Jane. Love, got some guitars and sleeping bags and cots and chairs. It's in pretty good shape though. It's a little dusty, sat in a barn somewhere, I guess. So this is the world's oldest Airstream, a 1935 Torpedo, owned by the Holman family for 81 years. Got an old Pepsi cooler, that thing's in really good shape. Look at that. It almost looks like a ship with these round windows. Very cool, we got some spoked wheels on it actually. Let's see if we can look inside here. Oh man, there's some kind of wards up there. I don't know if they showed the RV, I guess. But look at all that woodwork in there. It's in really good shape. Got the, got the couch slash bed back there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can you believe this? 1948, Gornicky. Look at this. It's the one that was used in the movie RV. I love that movie. One of the last movies from Robin Williams. Remember this? Had the crazy horn. And this family right here was following them. And they were annoyed. And they were trying to lose them. But they were the musical family. It turns out they were looking out for them. But they wanted them to join for dinner and stuff. This is the actual RV piece of RV history and you can go on it here right here in Amarillo Texas movie history man can't you just see him driving and they're all sitting in here singing honking the horn I'd love to hear the horn honk but I'm not gonna touch it says don't touch other than walking on here this is the movie history right here from the movie RV. Love that movie. It cracked me up. Absolutely cracked me up. And I can stand up in this. There's not much headroom, but I can stand up in it. 
What a cool RV. Got a nice size oven here. And then this would be the bed, I guess. Well, I think it would originally probably be the bed. They got a bunch of stuff in there. Look at all that. I guess this could be another bed up through there. Can you imagine that? Look at all the gauges on this. I think these are some vents here. You got these windows that slide open. Movie history. Wow. It's an automatic. Big old pedals. Look at those pedals. Look at the turn signal right there. Man. Look at the front of that. The little eyelids on it. Pretty cool. Right above here are more Harleys. Going all the way down. More Harleys. We have a 1954, 1971, 1967, 1977 Harley Sportster. 1977 Harley Davidson Cafe Racer. But then here, look, here's another RV to go in. So there's RVs here. Harley's up above to look at. 1975 Atasca. Wow. Serial number one. It was the prototype. Man. More Coleman stuff. Those things used to keep water so cold. I remember those playing sports and the coaches would have those. Again, it's so cool that you can you can actually go on these. So we have a Coleman stove top, couch slash bed. We have the toilet, sink, shower. It's even got the oven up above, refrigerator and freezer, look at this, definitely screams the time period with these floral and then the carpet, remember the carpet in houses like this and you forget about it being in the vans and the RVs, wow, and it, when you look at the mileage, I think it only has 6,094 miles on it. Pristine shape. Never played this game. It's a game called Spill and Spell. Some more information about what this has as far as the tires and stuff like that. So, there are all sorts of magazines, phone books. Here's one that goes in the bed of a truck. 1970 Avion. Wow. I've never even seen one of those before. So the whole time I was in that RV, we skipped those Harleys up there. Of course, these are different, and they even Yamaha's in here. Fishing poles. Look at this. Winnebago. Old one. Seen a lot of those over time. It says for in $175 for three days, $0.10 cents a mile, $250 a week, $0.10 cents a mile. Let's go in this one right here. This is one that would go in the bed of a pickup. So, let's go in here. Refrigerator right here. We got kind of a couch area it might make into another bed there's definitely a bed up there little oven stove top double sink actually you even have a vent hood 1973 Winnebago used to see a lot of these on the road we just we've been on the road and we just saw one going down the road that was in good shape not this good a shape got the Winnebago mat, mat right there 
Look at this. I've never been inside one of these. Remember the old speedometers that were just in a straight line and the needle would go across rather than in a circle? Has the gear shifter on the dash. Got the old steering wheel with the horn going across. Brings back some memories of how you would see it in uh, different vehicles. There's a bed up here. And then I'm sure that this probably somehow makes into a bed. Got the kitchen table, refrigerator, oven, stove top. Probably another bed back here somehow. So we even have an old telephone booth back here and a Coca-Cola machine. Old glass oil bottles there and the oil pump from Chevron. And this is a desert water bag. So these old cars that would get hot going across the desert, fill that up full of water, helps cool it off. Something before my time period, but I know what it is. This 1948 Ford it has 48,661 miles. This was driven from Dallas to Amarillo in 1990. This is the old air conditioning or the car cooler. Imagine that, it looks like a cannon. People would freak out if they saw that on the road now. Got these old oil pumps, I mean these gas pumps with the globes on top. It's really good shape there. Look here. Look at that. Old things in there. Cash register. Some of these look so familiar. Yeah. From the old station, right? Yeah, they do. Water fountain. Thank you. Come back anytime. You got a lot to clean, don't you? And <laughs> there's a lot in here. <laughs> it's a lot. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> The Kleenex vending machine there. Got the old belts like we have. Snap-on socket wrenches and some oil cans on top. Different things in here. You can't even name it all. Hose clamp rack. Sarah's family had some of those. Old spouts. There's an old gumball machine. Wow. Pretty crazy to see all this stuff. Looks like the front of a shop here. Old station. This is the inside of that old Ford. Extremely good shape. And a lady's hat in the back even. Look at that. Old Ford hubcat. Really nice. So, so it's talking about an old service station. A lot of history in here. <laughs> I don't even know how to showcase all this. 1952 Harley Davidson. Check out the seat, the way that that's on there. Another 1953. Seats a little different there. So not only is there that car, there's that car, another pump right here. Look at this little RV, little trailer. 1946 teardrop kit. Not real big, basically a mattress inside there. Pretty neat. The whole kitchen part back here. different okay look at the map where people have visited from I guess <laughs> so this would be a what they call a tow low I guess but we call them pop-ups I guess in a way or raise ups Wow once again Got all kinds of antiques in here. Look at these old things. You don't see stuff like that anymore. Remember those old cans? I love those old cans. You had cocoa in there, Hershey's chocolate, all kinds of stuff. Remember these old tins like this you could reuse forever? In a lot of ways, I feel like uh, some of the, the things that you buy have cheated you out of the containers that you could use to put screws and bolts and stuff. But we got the stovetop and the oven. 
a little refrigerator, double sink, lots of storage up top. Very practical. And then you'd see people back in the day, you could still see these, but they would collect spoons as to where they traveled to. Lots of storage in here. So much stuff. An old Triumph. Man, 1973. Look at the character on this. It looks like an Airstream or Gossy. I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've ever even seen one. The 1976 says Spirit of 76, very patriotic, red, white, and blue. It's got this canvas canopy that rolls out. Zip dough, it's called. Has air conditioning. Nice wide door. Look at this. Old crayons. Old Kodak film, I guess. Kodak instant camera. Storage, refrigerator, a little bit more storage. Stovetop, four burner stovetop, an oven, double sink, more storage down through there. Bed that forms air from the couch. Has the windows, I think, that pop out. Wow, there's a window there, but it's just got the shade pulled down. It's the old school caps. Remember those things? It's like stuff that my grandparents would wear. There's a little bed thing here that pulls out. Storage up above. Here's your air conditioner. It has the box on top. A little closet here. And we've got a little sink back here. Toilet and shower. And then maybe some more storage in there. It's pretty cool. Got the mirror up above and we got lights. So exciting. It brings back memories of going to the lake with my grandparents because they had either a camper that fit in the bed of the truck or an actual fifth wheel that they pulled back behind. Pleasure chest. Some Coleman's here. That one's a little older, probably 70s. Coleman fridge there. Here's a true pop-up camper. Kind of a little more modern. Starcraft. Look at this camera setup. We actually have that same camera at home. Don't have the tripod though. Look at this bicycle. Seen these before, but never in person. Got the banana seat. Some sort of gear shifter here. And an odometer. They've went They've only pedaled 63 miles, or yeah, 63 miles. Had an odometer on my bike. And as a kid, I think I put close to a thousand miles on it. My goal was to flip it, and I never did. Again, there's more antiques. I remember these old flat toasters you would pop up, toast your toast on the campfire. You could see the burn marks from that. Coffee maker, it percolate up on top. Got a bed on that side. Little refrigerator. Stove top, one sink, little table for your games, which I think make these make into another bed, if I'm not mistaken. Some of them do, at least the newer ones. There's a bed back there. And that could be a toilet. I don't know on this particular model. We've got another camper right here. Some more old items, baseball gloves, boxing gloves. Just different things. Seven up chest right there. 1966 Kinskill. Wow. This was a complete restoration, it says. You can even see the old tags on it there. Got a plug in right there, maybe for your camping lights, whatever else you wanted to run outside. Some decorations and closets there. little corner sink and shower right there and we have a little potty and then we have this probably turns into a bed but it's a table 
uh, somehow a bed back there. Good size stove. Look at the colors on that stove and that stove top, that oven, and the sink. It matches. Same with the refrigerator and the overhead ventilation there. Same color. Lots of light. Looking at that station from a distance. Chevron credit cards accepted. Standard Oil Company. Again, clearly you can see these RVs and these motorcycles up above. Can't get over that they have a piece of movie history in here. Look at the back of that. You can't even see out the back window or anything. It's just straight mirrors. Got a trailer hitch on it. Exhaust right there. So here they have old Tonka toy. That's what that is of an RV. I had one as a kid. Not sure whatever happened to it. Old cameras. Lots of old cameras. Even uh, movie cameras. Water coolers. Thermoses. We have another RV here. Look at this. It's kind of a bus looking thing. Let's go inside this one. Pretty cool. Guys. So look at this. 1976. FMC, I guess. Max Factor Cosmetics. He was, oh, okay. It was owned by Max Factor Jr. He was the president of Max Factor Cosmetics. The story of FMC motor coaches. Look at the uh, linoleum down here on the bottom. And we have some seats here with the table. And then, look at here. We got the shifter on the column. Upright steering wheel. I guess that tilt so maybe that's a tilt on the side We have two people sitting on this side and then a seat over on this side Stove top oven this is a little more modern. They've made some updates in this I think And then we have the freezer and the fridge old lily cups the double sink It's this Oh, Rolodex. This is an old Rolodex, but I thought it was a phone almost. Pretty cool. Look at all the room back here. We have the temperature uh, thermostat here. Some fans up above, and we have speakers. The bathroom here. Some storage and closet there. This is interesting. You've got this bed here, and a bed over here. But these cots kind of fold down from the ceiling here. And you can see some air conditioning back here. A little table here. Another cot that folds down here. All that storage up above. I know that light's kind of blinding. Pretty cool. And it even has a curtain to separate the bedroom for when you're changing or getting in the shower. So on the outside you can see this. Kind of a different looking rear end. Got the double bicycle. 1955 Airstream was found in Santa Barbara, California. The stove, refrigerator, and bathroom have never been used. The curtains and bedspread are original. Look how shiny that is. Got some old antiques out through here. That is so shiny. Look here. Look at the floor on it. it says do not sit on the couch. I don't know if that makes into a bed or not. We have the Prospector's Game. This has that old school smell. You remember these uh, few masters and they've got several of the old ones there. You'd go on vacation and get it from the different spots. Old refrigerator. Looks like an old lead one. That light says that it's propane. We have the old gas stove. Look at that. Look at the quality in this. Down to see the windows. I can stand up in this. <laughs> Look at the mattresses. Look at the how they round out and fit the actual trailer. Probably can't even get stuff like that. Impressive. But we have all these old curtains on here. Storage up above.
Uh, look at this clock right there. Look at this old one right here. <laughs> so old, old Colt cooler. The step up in here, got the screen door, wood door. This is a Fleetwood, little tiny one. Okay, this one, my head is about to touch on it, but I can still stand up. Roy Rogers books, some old books there and games. That one looks like it's still in the package. The old antiques up there in the storage. This is a mantle there, so it's gonna run on the propane too, probably. And then we have the old uh, stove top there, camp stove that you could take outside and use. That probably runs on propane, the refrigerator. Look at the, uh, uh, look at that old sink. We have a bunk bed system in here. Pretty neat. Curtains in there. Old fly swatter even for this old closet. It's pretty neat to see this old table. Still got this old flooring in here. 1953 Fleetwood. So this old one. Check out that trailer license plate right there. So this one is a restored one. This is the first year Fleetwood built the travel trailers. Pretty cool. Look at the picnic suitcase right there. So 1962 Airstream traded for this trailer back in 1988 and just restored it last year, but it didn't need much restoration. So it's an old Airstream. It's a little one compared to what we've seen. So go in here. Like these old Airstreams, you see a lot of them on the road and they've become popular again. Got the old radio, Tinker Toy set. Got some lights over here on the side. Table and a chair. Storage unit underneath there. Thing about these Airstreams, there's a whole tag up here. Thing about these Airstreams is they absolutely maximize space. So somehow this pulls out into a bed, but there's storage underneath. And then here we have a sink and the faucet, all those antiques up there, stove top, refrigerator, he even has a shower and a toilet. And we've got a closet right here. Really, really cool. It's quite a collection. So things that we might have skipped. Look at that old Harley up there. There is a quilt up here of different places, I think. Some old pennants. There is a lot to this museum and uh, if you're ever in the Amarillo area come here check it out it has a lot of stuff I think my favorite thing in the whole museum is this piece of music history or movie history right here so thanks for joining me on this little tour of the RV Museum in Amarillo Texas if you're ever in the area stop by take a look at all these you're never going to see RVs like this, especially all in one place like this. It's free to go to. So if you ever love the outdoors or maybe you ever did any of this or you had a grandparent that did this, stop in. Take a look around. There's motorcycles. There's a little bit of everything in here. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.